And sorry guys, it looks like I'm wearing the same outfit because I am. It's the same day that I filmed my previous video, so please forgive me. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be all about this brush. Um, you guys will hear my thoughts and how it applies um, while I was using it to apply onto my face. Um, this video is a little bit all over the place because I'm kind of filming this in the middle of this eyeshadow look that I have going on. So if you guys want to see how I created this look and what palettes I use, um, I will link that video down below. So this brush is the Real Technique Blend and Blur Base Foundation Brush. Um, this is very similar to those Artiste brushes that were very popular a little while ago. I don't know if there, a lot of people still use those brushes anymore more but um because literally makeup is always changing and there's new brushes coming out all the time and products and everything um but i did see a tutorial on this one i forget from who but i was very intrigued to try this for myself so that's why i picked it up um i've never tried a foundation brush like this until today so yeah so if you guys want to see a little demo of how uh, this applies on my face then just keep on watching so the packaging here says use circular motions to evenly apply all over your face um, it, you can use either cream or liquid foundation. So today I'm going to be using the L'Oreal um, Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. So I'm going to shake this up and then apply some on this side of the face and just kind of brush it on. This is going to look really funny. Since I only use this for myself, I just like to apply it directly to the skin. Okay, so again I'm going in with the Real Technique Foundation Brush. So I'm just going to... Oh, this is so weird. I've never used a brush like this before. Here we go. So it says to use circular motions. And it seems... I know this foundation looks a little light for me. Oh my god, I don't even know how to do it. Like, am I supposed to pat it everywhere? Seems like it, like, really covers. Let me apply some on this side. Because I feel like I put a little too much. Oh my god, this is so interesting. I like how it's the brush is kind of big, so it allows to like cover a good amount at once. So you're like quickly, you can like quickly apply your foundation with this because it has the brush is so big, so it covers so much area on your face. And it's literally the softest thing ever. And surprisingly, it doesn't look streaky at all. Which is what I was expecting because sometimes it does end up leaving like streaks on my face. But as you can see, I don't know if I was maybe pressing too hard, but like you can still kind of see through some of my scars and whatnot. So I'm gonna put a thin layer of the foundation and I'm just gonna rub it in. And I'm gonna use this brush again to just like put it in circular motion. But like, especially if I want to cover certain areas, I guess you could just like tap it and it works that way too. And it doesn't, it's not like streaky at all, which I dig. But the only thing I do realize with this brush, it's hard to like, you know, use it to cover your nose on my foundation or even just like small crevices because it's such a big brush. But it is good to apply foundation like all over you know like your cheek area and your forehead and whatnot but like for your nose and stuff it's a little difficult to get in do i look like a zombie i do so this is how the face looks like when i applied it with this brush it seemed to have covered a lot of area because again the brush is pretty big this is how it looks like on my face covers a lot of area and then i applied some also on my forehead literally like I'm brushing my face that's how it feels like but yeah I will um, finish up the rest of my face and I will come back with my final thoughts all right you guys so now I am back with my full face on I don't look scary anymore um, but yeah so my final thoughts on this brush is that it does a really good job of applying the foundation all over my face again this brush on my face 
it's pretty big so it covers a lot of area I did have to apply two layers of foundation on because I felt like with um, swirling it around my face it kind of just like moved my foundation everywhere um, so I wanted a more of a full coverage you know cover up my like any blemishes I have or any scars or whatever so I did have to apply two two like layers of foundation and then just kind of like swirl it into my face um, and it does so one good thing about this is it doesn't leave any streaks on my face which is a really impressive because I do use this a tart brush I don't know what it's called because it doesn't have a name on it um, which is kind of like densely packed as well on top just like this brush and it leaves streaks on my face which that's why I've kind of been I've stopped using it and I've been using the beauty blender lately but um so yeah I was really impressed that this didn't leave any streaks on my face it's not like one of those brushes that just kind of like sinks in the, the liquid foundation which is really good um so yeah I really like this brush and it was really interesting like applying it on the face like I literally felt like I was brushing my face which is really weird but I, I liked it I don't know it's different than using a beauty blender or just like you know a dense brush where you're just kind of like patting it onto your face and whatnot so yeah I really like the ability to just kind of like swirl it into my face and then apply it in like circular motion. So yeah, I would definitely recommend this brush um, for anybody who wants to try something different, you know. I'll leave a link down below where you can buy this brush. I bought this at Ulta. I'm pretty sure you could find it there. That's where I got it. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave any comments you have down below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And until next time, bye guys.